Everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. Today is extremely special for two reasons. Number one, it's my birthday. Number two is a special day because we're collaborating with an Indonesian statue unboxing channel called Franz Sanjaya. He is one of the pioneering individuals that has been here for so long, unboxes so many amazing things. And so today, I'm going to be unboxing a Naruto statue, and he is going to be unboxing a Sasuke statue that goes perfectly right along with this one. After you're done checking out the video, be sure to check out his Sasuke unboxing, which I'll link towards the end, as well as I'll put it in the description. And without delay, let's jump on in. Be sure to stick around to the end for details on how you can have a chance to win this authentic resin statue of Tsunade by Model Palace. If you've been hanging around this channel for long enough, you will know Singularity Workshop is one of my all-time favorite studios that create statues. It's amazing with as many Naruto statue unboxings that I've done on the channel, there's hardly any of the actual main character. On the bottom of the base, you'll find some circular rubber pads that keep it from sliding around. And all throughout, we will see a nice rocky base with some tree built into it. Also on the rock part of the base, you'll find all sorts of very bright circular LEDs. And in the center there, that's going to be a power source. Flip it around to the back, you'll find another LED. And there's also another power source right there. The tree bark has some awesome texturing on it, as well as the paint shade. You have some darks and lights, as well as a little bit of moss on there. The first and largest effect piece comes in here, nicely shaded with a very glossy tone of oranges and yellows. On the bottom, you see that's an AC plug that goes into one of those power outlets that we showed before, as well as some magnet notches that stick off on the side. The glossy paint, which we normally don't see on Naruto statues, has a purpose. We'll go over that a little bit later. This Rasen Shuriken did come sculpted separately, but it's mounted to a very thin steel rod, and I was a little scared of breaking it when I was trying to remove it, so I just kept it on just to be better safe than sorry, and it does have a little bit of a spin here. We'll go through that feature a little bit later. As I did mention before, there is an AC adapter plug on the bottom, so it's not connecting via a steel rod, but actually that plug-in connector. The second effect piece comes in to look like the Nine Tails or Kurama's hand, claw, paw, whatever you want to call it. Once again, it does have that more glossy look type of paint on it with the awesome shades of yellow and orange. This is one of the smaller effect pieces that attach to the base. Nothing much to talk about here. There is a little cavity here which will attach to one of the notches that were on the side of that large effect piece. And here is Kurama's head. Now, Singularity Workshop decided to sculpt this in more of a realistic look where it has the fur-type texture and not where he's in his chakra mode where it's very really bright yellow mixed with those black markings. While this is one of the most impressive parts of the statue, I'm also torn about it being one of my least favorite. When I think of Naruto being in his Sage of Six Paths mode, I don't think of Kurama looking like this. I think of him looking like this. So that's why I feel like it was somewhat of a missed opportunity. Is it bad? Does it look bad? No, not at all. I think it looks amazing. I just kind of would have liked it if it was more in line with that version of Kurama. As always, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on that. Should it have been the realistic looking version or more of the chakra based? Here is the smallest and last effect piece that we'll be installing onto the base.
they did decide to sculpt this piece of wood separately. Now on here is somewhat of a feature that I want to make sure that I point out. There are some little holes right inside of here. And those do have purposes and intents. There were some uh, kunai shurikens, some throwing stars that were included with this. And you can actually stick those in there. So it kind of just further accents and details the base, which is awesome. Here is up close what the kunai and shuriken do look like. Very well painted, clean, nice metallic look, and also those hand grips are great. After installing the piece of wood, I'll go ahead and show you how each weapon is inserted onto the base individually. Let's go ahead and give this bad boy some power by plugging in that micro USB cord. In the beginning, I did talk about how certain parts are painted with a glossier paint. We can see that top left point of Karama as well as his hand to the left there. Now, if I turn this on, you'll see exactly why. So that is actually somewhat of a transparent paint. When the LEDs illuminate through it, it brings it to life exactly as you see here, so bright and vibrant. In comes Naruto looking so hardcore and serious. I've seen multiple versions of Sage of Six Path Naruto made in a statue form, and I gotta say, this has to be the greatest I've personally seen so far. Being cloaked with chakra the way he is is a very tricky thing to paint, and I feel like Singularity Workshop did a great job at doing so with adding that somewhat of a glossier texture to it to bring it to life and separate it from his normal clothes, which is more of that flat black look. I swear they blow my mind every single time with how they're accurately able to paint all these details onto their characters. That steel rod is the only point of contact which attaches him to the base. Overall, I think one of the most impressive parts and also the most challenging parts about making this so accurate is getting all of those different shades correctly of his jacket, his head, his skin color, his hand. Now, his head was removable, so I wanted to take this off so you could get a clearer picture at how he looks. The headband was sculpted separately, thank goodness, because it's very fragile and comes in with that very small steel rod. To my knowledge, how they get some of these details and features so accurate is I believe they use something called paint stickers in which they put onto the statue and they do have to be positioned 100% correctly and then they put some sort of coat over top of it to seal it on there. Naruto also comes with that steel rod that's made up of the same materials as the Truth Seeker orbs. Because his arm or hand is removable, I wanted to go ahead and take that and show exactly how it's installed. Speaking of Truth Seeker orbs, unfortunately there were none included with this, so I'm just going to assume that he was in the middle of using them and they're just not surrounding him currently, but they didn't sculpt them with the statue. Alright, so now time to talk about one of the coolest features included in this statue. So the Rasen Shuriken, like I said, is mounted to that top small steel rod that is actually a motor inside of that large effect piece. If I spin this very gently, it initiates that motor and then it will continuously spin the Rasen Shuriken. Now this is more of a dream wish list statement, but LEDs are really complicated to put in statues. So I'm not going to say this should have happened, but it would have been cool if they put a light behind that Ross and Shuriken because look how awesome that looks. But uh, I don't want to even call it a missed opportunity because there's so many things that they did right in here. Included also is the addition size coin that has been coming with all Singularity Workshop statues. Only 152 made internationally. That is a very low addition size. Also included, which Singularity Workshop has been doing, is an envelope with this awesome wax seal. And then we have a nice art card inside with kind of an authenticity sticker on the front. With all the details and features and quality laid out, you know what time it is? To bring out all Singularity Workshop in my collection so we can see how they are looking together. So
So absolutely glorious to see all of them. Now, I am super excited for you to go to Fran Sanjaya's channel and check out Sasuke. All these LEDs, now they kind of lean towards the yellow and the oranges, but Sasuke is gonna bring a whole new color to everybody. So be sure to check that video out and I will be showcasing him on the channel in the future as well. Shout out and a what what to my members. Thank you so much for your awesome support to the channel. We had some individuals decide to join over the past week. I truly appreciate the support that you're showing and that extra effort that you're believing in me and this channel. From now through 75,000 subscribers, there is a giveaway going on for an awesome authentic resin statue of Tsunade by Model Palace. To participate, all you have to do is take the time to write a meaningful comment on videos released between July 1st, 2020 and the day I hit 75,000 subscribers. A random comment will be selected from a random video during those dates to select the winner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and showcase. Like I said before, be sure to head over to Fran Sanjay's channel and check out Sasuke's unboxing. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content or content that showcases stuff from Dragon Ball Z, One Punch Man, one Piece, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, Demon Slayer. There's going to be some amazing statue unboxing showcases in the future. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any content as it comes out. As always, everybody, do what you love, love what you do. Bam out.